Good evening, ladies, as well as gentlemen. Papa Boris here with some more Hearthstone Arena, playing a Hunter's deck that I think is pretty solid. It's got a good bunch of cards, some, some decent endgame hanging out there, with Spectral Knight and the Ogre. Um, good removal. I don't know. Should, should be pretty good. Now, the draft was a bit of a tough one. Uh, definitely could have drafted some things a bit differently, but we'll see how it goes. I would like to at least make it to five wins. That's a pretty solid mark with this deck. We'll see if I can go further. Got one win uh, in the last video, but that doesn't really mean much. It was not a super hard opponent. Silent Storm the Druid. Well, okay, it does mean something. It means I won and winning is a good thing. It just doesn't mean that the deck is good, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so easy mulligan here. Kind of wish I were the second player. Yada yada, usual, usual. This guy is actually kind of interesting. I've never played with him before. He seems amazing, but I do find it's actually kind of tricky for him to be his full potential. When I first saw him, I was like, really? How can that possibly have vanilla minion stats with such an amazing power? But yeah, it sort of makes sense because on turn two, you play him, he's probably going to die before you can ever shoot anything. And then later in the game, you know, when you can play him and Steady Shot in the same turn... Uh, it's probably nothing that you can really kill with Steady Shot, or at least there might not be if the opponent has a bunch of big minions out. So, I, I kind of see it. I think it's a fair fair card, but still a very cool one. Okay, so I'll just follow my always logic of playing the 3-2 over the 2-3, even if this didn't have a special ability. Because I like the ability for this thing to trade up with something. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, coin into a 3-4, which is annoying because I don't have a buff. I don't have any way of dealing that extra damage. I can't quite play this and shoot at the same time. Uh, that sucks. I could two for one into the spider tank, but I don't see the point of doing that. Shoot. It sucks. Alright, well, I'm steady shotting. I didn't think him in the face because I don't really see any reason to throw my raptor away at this spider tank. The good news in all this is that this thing will be left with only one health, so a dog will kill it, as will this. Oh my god. Ah, oh, Jesus. So this thing got big. Alrighty. Um, got a couple different options here. I can play this guy and shoot the spider tank, but then this thing will just kill my guy. I could wait for explosive shot next turn, but that's playing with fire. Ha! <laughs> because it's fire. Um, because if he leaves the spider tank in the middle as he should i'm not really gonna get to do much with this except kill the technician and the tank and then um whatever else he plays on turn four would actually live i could just play this guy but uh, yeah i'm gonna play this guy so my thinking here is he could kill him with the technician and shape shift but then this shape this guy will be left at two health so explosive shot might actually work next turn Alright, well that's a pretty good card for him. However, Explosive Shot currently clears his board. No! Oh no! Oh, that's bad. So that's bad because now this guy survives the Explosive Shot. Crap! Oh my god, this is just terrible. Well, I could Hunter's Mark him. And I will actually. This is just a zero... This is like a Moonfire right now, is all that is. But that's fine, a Moonfire is what I needed. So we clear the board. He's still in the lead. He's still up a card. He's got that spare part and five cards. I just have four cards. I've got this guy coming in, but he's get, he's gonna get the first play. So yeah, that wasn't that wasn't great. Oh, that power of the wild made such a big difference. Okay, this is actually really good to see because doesn't really do much. Oh wow, I can even kill it now with my sniper or with the explosive trap. Let's go ahead and use the sniper. We'll shoot this panther to death. I'm gonna lay the trap. There's a chance of the trap being wasted if he shapeshifts my face, but you know, don't. Uh, or you should always assume the hunters have the best trap. This guy seems like he knows what he's doing, so he should not assume that that's explosive trap. You should assume it's a freezing trap. And okay, he plays this, which I don't. Oh, a deadly shot would be good. Oh no, crap. So I can shoot it to get rid of the divine shield, but then I can't kill it with kill command because I don't have a beast. So what I think I gotta do here, as unfortunate as it is, is, um, yeah, I got a two-for-one myself against this thing. I could play the Spectral Knight and ignore it, but I don't like that. Let's just shoot it, kill command, and then hit him in the face. So he knows it's not Snipe. He didn't get a chance to check if it's Freezing Trap. He's got six cards to my three and then a secret. 
So yeah, I'm definitely losing. I haven't dealt any damage to him. It's just battle around. Could have really used a deadly shot there. Could really still use a deadly shot. Oh my god, no. Oh, mm, this thing will not quite kill a Ravenholt assassin. I could play this and then it'll just die to the assassin. Is that really worth it? He's got to assume that this is a freezing trap, but unfortunately it actually isn't freezing trap. So, oh god, that's bad. Shoot. Is it worth it to just play this thing? Or just play this guy and let it... Alright, we're going to play the bomb lobber. I think that's what's got to happen. Shoot him in the face. Hit and hit. So I'm pretty sure he thinks that this is a freezing trap. I really doubt he would attack me in the face here. That would make no sense. He's going to claw here, kill off my sniper, use the Raven Assassin, and be delightfully surprised to learn that it's not freezing trap when he tries to attack the bomb lobber. Cult master? Alright, well, freezing trap would have been amazing. It would have actually stopped that assassin and stuff, but now he just gets a card. Alright, well, here, um. Definitely gonna be steady shotting him, and then if I play the Spectre Knight, it lets the cult master trade into the knight. I could just leave this alone and let it die. But no, I gotta play this. I gotta play this. It's just gotta happen. If he has a buff and the cult master trades into that, then so be it. But I had no choice. I couldn't just leave this in my hand. Reckless Rocketeer, pretty good way of killing off the Spectre Knight. Man, if I had done nothing, that Reckless Rocketeer... Well, it wouldn't have died to the Explosive Trap, because he would have just... He would have just, um... Attacked with the Cult Master first, and then played this thing. Okay, so anyway, the Cult Master gives him another card, which is definitely... I, that would have been saved if I had saved the Spectre Knight in my hand. So, he's getting a little low on health, but he's got bajillion cards. Glive Zooka. Alright, well... I think it's getting to be about that time where we start going for the face. If I top take a kill command, I do have another one in here. I might be able to sneak out a kill. Of course, if he has any sort of healing or taunt, I'm just in bad shape. Hold up, Stoker is pretty good to see unless he gives a taunt. Please don't give a taunt. He has a taunt! Oh god, I need deadly shot. Seriously, deadly shot. Where are you? Deadly shot. Might actually win me the game because then I could hit him for five damage. Oh my god, rusty fucking horn off of that Tinkertown Technician. Nope, no deadly shot. Okay, cool. Well, we'll just uh, steady shot him, I guess. Can't kill this. I could hit him for three, five. Oh, I could actually kill this thing if I wanted to. But nope, not gonna do it. Gonna wait for, to get more dogs and hope I can find a deadly shot. Hunter's Mark would have been good too. He's gonna swipe to clear my board out. Okay, he's gonna swipe again. Oh, that's a pretty good way to do it. Oh my god, I really still might actually win with a deadly shot to get rid of this. And then possibly have burn later on for hounds. Deadly shot, I really need you to be in the top half of my deck. Oh, not a chance. Is it worth playing this thing? Um, is it worth playing that thing? Yeah, I'm gonna play it. So he's got uh, 7 damage. God, I really need a deadly shot that game. Or for him not to have Power of the Wild to buff that guy. Oh, he's got the kill. Is that a third swipe or is that a Starfire? Oh, it's a third swipe. So this druid had three swipes. And I still could have beaten him if I had just gotten deadly shot. Or um, if he hadn't had Power of the Wild on that turn. Or if he hadn't gotten the rusty fucking horn. Really, I would have even taken an emergency coolant over the rusty horn there. Jesus, so many ways I could have won that. Well, anyway, the last run before this, I had pretty stupendously good luck, so I guess I'll take a loss. Heartbreaking as it was without uh, too much irritation. Well, I feel the irritation, but, uh, you know, I, I feel also alongside the irritation a sense of acceptance. There we go. So it's not that I take that loss without irritation, I take it with acceptance. Okay, anyway, let's put it behind us. Let's try another game here. Another druid, Bizenlord. I don't remember what that other druid's name was, but hopefully it's not the same one. Because in general, you don't want to play against druids who have three swipes. Alright, with this hand, I am actually going to... You know what? I'm not going to keep that. What's the point of keeping that? I'll draw something better by then anyway. So yeah, let's just do this. Not bad. So I could actually coin into the knife juggler. But I don't see much... Yeah, I'll just play the clockwork gnome. If he wants to spend a second term shapeshifting to kill it, that's totally fine. I'll get a spare part, and I'll stop him from playing stuff. Seems good in my book, then I can play the Knife Juggler. He'll have to probably deal with that somehow. 
on turn three, maybe I'll do this and a ping, a coin to steady shot. Yeti, all right, so I do get a pretty good four drop in place of the one I'm mulligan away, and I replaced it with a removal card, so that's pretty good. Do, do, do. Shape shift, shape shift, shape shift, shape shift, shape shift. Oh, shape shift, shape shift, shape shift. Shape 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 The only thing he would possibly do other than shape shift is play a two three. The only, or like a one three or a one four, because there are some creatures that have weird stats. But by and large, the, the main thing he would do is play a two three for two. And try to kill the clockwork gnome that way. Okay, and he did he gets a two three out here. Good for him. So Ah, uh, it's just awkward. I could play the knife juggler, but it doesn't actually do anything except die to this thing. Yep, 2-3. I could have drawn some cards that would have helped me, but I guess we're going to have to content ourselves with Hunter's Mark. God, that sucks. I could just use the Bluegill Warrior and save the Hunter's Mark for later. Hmm. So if I do Hunter's Mark, I can play another creature right now. All right, we're going to do it. Might seem crazy to use Hunter's Mark against uh, Druid, because, you know, Druids do have big things later on. But... I feel like I had to do that there to get the board control. Ah, oh, we're of love for him to shapeshift there. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Over brute will kill my knife juggler. Jesus. Can't quite catch a break here. Alrighty, let's just get a Yeti out here. And hope that um Ogre Brute Oh, I could actually kill it if I wanted to. But no, the Ogre Brute, I mean, it might hit me in the face. I think i got to give myself that chance to get lucky. That whatever it attacks, whether it's the Yeti planning to kill it with Shapeshift or the Knife Juggler planning to just kill it, uh, that it flips the coin and then hits me in the face. That would be a huge advantage, and i got to give myself that chance to get lucky, as good players do. Okay, so he's up a card right now, but I'm a little bit ahead on the board. Got the taunt, which some people have said this is the worst one. This is definitely not the worst one. As you saw, I pretty much won my last opponent the game. I think the, the worst one is uh, the, well, probably the one that takes a minion back to your hand. Although all of them can find a use. I was actually going to buff this up. Well, that's a two for one, and it might actually fail. It doesn't. Okay, so that's fine. He just two for one against my Yeti. I two for one against his earlier thing. We're all fair in love and war here. So I could play this just to have it ready to go. But then he can swipe it, and if I also play the Blue Gold Warrior, I could swipe this guy, shapeshift, kill the knife juggle that I have left with this with a 2-1. I think I'd rather be a little bit more swipe-proof and play the Stormwood Knight. Get hit. I could have also played the tank and given it taunt. That would have been a reasonable choice also. So now I'm ahead on cards, and he's down to 4. He needs to catch, to catch up. Of course, if he plays a big minion here, like a Sunwalker, I could be in trouble. Because, again, I haven't gotten my deadly shot. Ugh, deadly shot. Why don't you like to be a little bit more gregarious? Alright, there's Root of the Claw. He actually gives a charge, which I think is a mistake. I think he should have just put out a 6-6. I guess he was playing around deadly shot. But that's all to the better for me. And I will just go ahead and give this thing taunt. I'm not going to wait for the ogre and try to give that taunt. Let's just use it up right now. Because if I play the ogre next turn, I don't have a mana left over. It's not till the following turn. And as we often like to say, a good option now is better than the best option later. So I'm protecting this against a variety of druid removal, like claw and bite. Or even deal some damage with something else and then shapeshift it. Still ahead on cards. Five to his four. Hmm. Gonna draw some he's gonna heal up, whoa. I think he should have drawn some cards there. I mean, he had enough health that he could wait a while. Weird choice. Okay, so this is actually really good for me that I got this wolf. This is why, as they say, bad buffs are better than no buffs. The wolf's not a super great card, but look how good it is here. It lets me keep my valuable creatures on the table. And lets me use my Google Warrior to stupendous effect. So that's, that's very good. I don't go up ahead any cards there, I just traded one card for one, but it was very efficient and let me get more board presence on while still also dealing damage. He should have drawn two cards with that. He could have been at 13 health now, but really two cards probably help him more than being at 18 instead of 13. Okay, he's gonna wrath this guy so that it stops killing his minions, understandable. 
And then summon five wits for a gift. Okay, cool. All right, well, hunters maybe aren't the best at dealing with five wisps. I'm not gonna start attacking these things. We're just gonna hit him in the face. Terrible things could happen now. You could play Savage Roar or Power of the Wild, but I'm just gonna go for it. This ogre's got a lot of health. There's a taunter he has to get through. And then if I hit him a few more times, I can win. All right, he can do a conga line of wisps now. And get cards for him. Well, I could have killed off two of them, but that wouldn't have helped me. I still would have... The three would have been enough for him to do what he needs to do. Okay, he could actually win this game now. It's possible that he'll hang on long enough to um, survive. Because he can use the 1-1 one, one to kill off my 3-1. And then use one of the 2-1s. Well, it doesn't actually matter. He does it. So he gets another card. Kills my wolf. Boy, I might actually lose this. Ah, oh, after him throwing away two cards for that Ancient of War. Maybe he made the right call. Maybe if he had been at 8 health, he'd be dying. But at 13 health, he's hanging on. No Christ. I really need to unleash the hounds there so that I could get rid of things. I could still use Unleash the Hounds, honestly. Or an Explosive Trap. I mean, there's a lot I could use that would be good. Instead, I get that thing. Okay, well. Let's drop these bad boys down. Pull that off. Oh, this is bad. He's got a lot of cards. It's not that difficult to get past these things. And then the ogre is still a couple of swings away from killing him, and it's wounded. I really needed to unleash the hounds. Or an explosive shot would have been pretty good. Yeah, lots of good stuff in my deck that I am just not drawing. Interesting choice to throw the Cult Master away first. Might as well get your card off of the Wisp first. He's gonna kill my Ogre. Go up a card. Take away the biggest threat to the table. Now I can also... Maybe I should have killed two Wisps earlier. Ah, God, that would have made a difference. Now I'm too far away to kill him. Oh, crap. No. Wait, doesn't actually make a difference. He's just getting a body out of this. It doesn't make a difference. Alright, so there's a 4 4, which will kill my 3 4. I'm like 13 turns away from steady shotting him to death. There's explosive shot. Gonna do it. Even though it sucks. I have to kill that thing. I gotta let this thing live and try to hit him in the face a couple times. He has 6 cards to deal with it, so all he needs is taunt or removal. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose this. I can't believe I'm gonna lose this game. Dark Whispers was incredibly good. Yep, he gets the kill. So, yeah, against the Druid, it's going to take me a bunch of turns to kill him. Honestly, even if he didn't heal for a life every turn, it still would take me too long to kill him. So what are, what are my outs that I have to play to? I have to hope that um, I top deck a kill command and unleash the hounds and I can burn him out. That's pretty much it. I had to get two very specific top decks to, to have a chance of winning this. That's not going to do it. Do I wait or do I just play him? I think I just got to play him because i, I got to start buying myself some time to draw my quote-unquote combo. I need him to get distracted, otherwise he is going to kill me before I can finish him off. Truth is oh my god, I lose. Yeah, I, I, whatever. I'm done. I'd have to now get a deadly shot and have the deadly shot at the Sunwalker, and then get Unleash the Hounds, and then a kill command. It's just not going to happen before he kills me. Jesus Christ, what the hell? That first game I lost, should have won it. Second game I lost, should have won it. I just have a really tough time in these situations drawing the removal I need. Still haven't seen Deadly Shot in two games. Didn't see Explosive Shot or Explosive Trap or that second kill command. But I gotta give it credit to my opponent. If he hadn't played that 2-3 on turn two, um, I could have, had he just shapeshifted my dude, I would have had an, a Hunter's Mark left over and then I could have used that later on to pretty good effect. So that sucks. Darking or dorking or deforking, whatever that is, is my paladin opponent. Oh jeez. Well I'll keep the trap. I might need it early on if I don't draw anything good and in fact I don't draw anything good. I could have mulliganed this and had another chance to draw something playable but I don't think I wanted, I'm think, I, don't, I think I'm pretty glad I didn't because I might have gotten crap like this yeti and then had no answers if he had a fast start. 
Okay, so I'm not gonna lay a trap just to kill the clockwork gnome. I'm gonna steady shot here. The reason is, I have nothing to do on turn three either, so I might as well just play this on turn three and kill like a recruit off as well, hopefully. Hopefully he doesn't play like a two three or a shielded minibot or something. Ah, good Christ. Okay, what's happening here? All right, we got ourselves an aggressive paladin, and this is awkward because he's gonna get at least two cards of that blessing. Jesus, what is going on today? Why, why is this deck doing so badly? This is not a bad deck. Oh my God, I have nothing to do except play this, which does nothing except kill a two two and pop a divine shield. Oh uh, man, then I do have this, and I have I have some removal, so I could catch back up. But he's gonna get two cards for one mana, which is bad. So that dies. The divine shield gets popped. He gets his card. And he has now a bajillion cards and able to do whatever he wants. Alright, he plays a panther. Okay, Pilot or Treader would be good, but it's too slow. I gotta kill this before he gets another card with it. Okay, so seven, eight cards. Um, this will kill off my storm one night. Now, maybe he'll get greedy and hit me in the face. Oh my god, he actually did it. Well, I just gotta hope for mistakes when you're behind. That was a pretty bad one. Now I get to kill his panther and leave my creature alive. Good. I got the one of the worst ones. This is bottom tier. This one and the one that returns a minion to your hand, I think, are bottom tier. Shielded mini bot. Okay. And the ruby and egg. Well, the ruby and egg pretty much cancels out the bomb lobber. Unless I could kill the egg and then use Bomb Lobber to kill the 4-4, but the Bomb Lobber might then hit this thing. So that actually is pretty good for him. Hmm. Alright, well, let's just keep it simple then. Pop off the Divine Shield, play the best stuff, and see what we can do here. He's in very good shape with 9 cards, although I have, I have a decent number of cards too, but... Christ, this deck, I don't know what's going on. It's a solid-ass deck. And it's at one and two. Well, what are you gonna do? You have good luck in one run, you're gonna have some bad luck in the next one. So he gets the kill for a lot of my stuff, actually. Ouch, that sucks. And ouch, so now the web spinner doesn't quite have enough oomph to finish off this bot. The bomb lobber might just end up hitting the egg, which would be very, very bad. What is going on today? What the fuck is going on today? So I could see what beast I get. I could deadly shot, but then they might get into this egg. Ugh. All right. What I'm going to do is this. Steady shot. And hit the face. So this guy will hopefully trade for that guy. But this is just, this is just bad. There's just nothing good going on right now. Deadly Shot finally shows up when it's not useful. Bomb Lobber's been shut down by this egg. I mean, do I just risk it with the Bomb Lobber? I'm getting to the point where I might have to. Alright, he throws away a card with junk, so this is definitely a lower tier opponent. I guess I just have a lower tier deck. Okay, well... I could throw the Web Spinner at the Recruit and take a 50-50 coin flip with the Lobber. Am I desperate enough for that? Because if it hits the Brute, it's amazing. If it hits this, it's terrible. No, I'm not desperate enough for that. We've got... We've got alternative. That we can do. I should have seen what beast I got before committing to this. Having your pain sucks. Otter balls. Okay, great. So now we got these things, which will kill off the Brute with advantage. At least the Hounds would be decent, because it could mop the recruits and then pave the way for me to... Okay, yeah, well. Guess that's happening. Oh my god. Ugh. Holy shit, the bullshit just does not stop. He, of course, got the min the uh, cooling minion, or the, the cooling, whatever, freezing coolant. So, if I could have hit the egg with my Yeti and then hit the recruit with my Shredder, I could have then just played the Bomb Lobber and killed that off. But, of course, that's not going to happen. So, I don't have anything I could really do here. I mean, I could pop the egg and just give him his 4-4 and take a 50-50 coin flip with the Lobber. Doesn't seem great. All right, we'll do it. All right, all right. We finally caught a 
little stroke of luck. Let's do this, and yeah, let's go ahead and give stealth to that Yeti so that the recruit can't kill it. Jesus Christ, what a day. What a day. Yesterday, all my troubles seemed so far away, but now, now it just looks as though they're here to stay. That's what I gotta say about that. So please don't play Consecration, thank you. Let's recruit. Hits me in the face, and okay. <sighs> All right, let's see what we get from Mr. Shredder. Three, two, solid. I could play this, which would kill off his recruits, but I don't know. It would also kill off my Yeti, which I don't like as much. Of course, the Yeti's gonna die regardless. Okay, so we'll kill a recruit. We're gonna throw this in the way of that thing. And, um, steady shot. So why didn't I play anything else? Well, uh, all the dogs would die to the, ta the taunt, and this would die to the taunt if he had a way to kill it. So let's let him spend a turn here. And then this hyena, you know, while terrible, I could play it later on with the hounds and then get it really big. Wow, he had hoot. Jeez. Not one, but two holy lights. That is special. Okay, so what happens now is this ghoul, after it dies, will... Uh, do a bunch of damage, and then this abomination actually currently is set to kill off everything that I have here. So I think the right play is actually to let this thing live, because otherwise the alternative is that everything dies. So we're gonna do this. Let him kill everything off. I'm actually behind on health here, which is a bit alarming. Steady shot. And I wanna play this and let it get damaged by that unstable ghoul. Sure. But I'm not gonna play the clockwork gnome because that would just die to this thing and that would suck. All right, guarding the kings. Am I finally actually gonna get to use a deadly shot? Holy mother of Christ. So the question is, do I actually wanna keep this thing alive or should I just get rid of it because it's a liability? I think I just wanna get rid of it because it's a liability. So we're actually gonna pop this there. Deadly shot. Knife juggler. Steady shot, his face. Play the Clockwork Gnome. And I'm not gonna play the Hyena because then a Consecration would just totally blast me to pieces. However, here if he Consecrates, at least I get a spare part and then I have this combo later on. Okay, can still play Consecration, does he? He does. He plays this thing, which is annoying, but not the end of the world, and a secret. Okay. And he does make a recruit. Okay, so I think we're gonna go for the hounds here, because I'm gonna get three knifelings. Which is pretty solid. If they hit him in the tiger or the face, that's bad, but all three probably wouldn't do that. That would be only a one in eight chance. Oh my fucking Christ. Wow. Well, alright, let's take one more knifling. There we go. Jesus. And play Glyph Zuka. Dog gets the buff, okay. So I think I should check, can I actually win here? I have three, five, seven, um, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, no, I can't win. Let's ping that off, see if it's a, uh... oh my god, if that had been a repentance or a, a redemption, that would have been really bad. So I shouldn't have done that, I should have killed this first. Uh, let's throw away a dog. See if it's a noble sacrifice, which it is. Quickly. Okay. Buff my hyena. Throw away a dog. Buff my hyena. I couldn't really buff this hyena enough to stop the tiger from being lethal against it. So I'm just content with the fact that it will at least kill off the tiger. With two cards, you should not be able to deal 14 damage. A consecration would still be really good for him because it would let him clear my board off. Did he just top deck it? No, he top deck Holy Wrath, which I'm okay with. Gets exactly four damage as a true super champion. Pretty good turn for him here. He gets to kill off almost all my stuff. Oh man, that was, that was pretty good Holy Wrath. He got lucky on that one. Kills off my sniper, and that's all he has mana for. Okay. Can I win? Two, four, six, eight, and then I'm winning next turn, but then he has the thing. So what we're gonna do instead is hedge our bats. Let's do that, get a spare part. Okay, that doesn't help. 
And I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to commit this Glyph Zooka yet. There's no other weapons in my deck this could interfere with. So I want to see. Maybe I will want to hit a minion. Your magic silence off my dog, which is fine because that's not taunting. I make a recruit. We have a defender of Argus. In the face to heal, but that's not enough to survive unless he has a defender of Argus. Of course, I'm going to protect her to give these taunts, and he doesn't. All right. Smooth move, passing the turn there. Maybe I would have missed the kill, but I didn't. All right, I guess this deck sucks. I don't know. I feel like it was bad luck those two games, but then this one, he had two Holy Lights. He threw away two cards. Still almost beat me, so I don't know. I guess this deck's just not as good as I think it is. That's too bad. I was really looking forward to playing with it. Ugh. But other than that first game, which, like I said before, wasn't a real test, uh, every, every game it's been pretty crappy and so gotta let's face the music i suppose one of the tricky things about evaluating deck strength in hearthstone is it's possible that your deck is really good but you got very unlucky or it's possible that you had a very bad deck but got very lucky that makes it trickier to judge decks so i don't know i think this deck's still kind of okay maybe i have been unlucky but it's been suspicious at least jace the warlock crap the opening hand lord more two drops than anything else with some one drops nope nope and nope okay yep sure do that do that game do that deadly shot uh, deadly shot the two times it's shown up it has been terrible and then well it wasn't terrible in the last game and then the one the two times it didn't show up it would have been like game winningly amazing all right so anyway can i get a card i can play i do holy ball sack christ so here it was just strictly worse than a Fiery War Axe, but even strictly worse than a Fiery War Axe is still good. In fact, Hunters have two cards that are, in some cases, strictly worse than a Fiery War Axe. This is worse than a Fiery War Axe, if it, there's no minion out, and then the Eagle Horn Bow is worse, if you don't uh, have secrets to recharge it. Okay, the Imp Master is a bit concerning. don't really have a good answer to it. I could just kill Command it to get it most of the way dead, but I'd rather play a minion, and I will do this. Is it worth it to hit an imp? Hmm. And you know what? A good option now is better than the best option later. Let's hit this imp. Because if he had mortal coil or like a abusive sergeant, that imp would have been a good thing to use to kill the raider with. Now he's going to have to throw the thing away. Now he's going to shadow bolt. Okay, well, still it's his whole turn, so that's, you know, some consolation. Stormwind Knight to kill off. Ah, oh, jeez. You know, I think I'm actually going to hit this thing. Because at 4 health, rather than 3 health, I feel a little bit more safe letting two things stick around. He's in a pretty good position, though, this guy. Got, you know, 7 cards to my 5. Deadly Shot, which is useless until I can kill these imps off. And he can get more cards ahead of me by life tapping. Really just bad to have a slow start here. Gonna drain life, which would require some assistance. Mortal coil. Okay, so drain life and mortal coil. At least he's not getting more board presence, though. That's that's the important thing. Okay, so just an imp left. I'll play this, which is a good topic, I admit, and a web spinner. If I I would have played the dwarf and the spinner otherwise, but leaving the web spinner around to make kill command bigger, as opposed to just having it instantly die to the imp, is a plus. Undertaker number two gets buffed and might get buffed again. All right, let's see what happens. I'm going to throw that away. I disagree with that. I think you shouldn't do things like that unless you're going to kill them. So is it worth it to use kill command here? I actually don't think so. What I'm actually going to do instead is just buff that so I can kill the golem. And then I'll use the web spinner kill the other golem. Ah, Malorn. Shuffle this minion into your deck. Cool. I deck... I don't know. I mean, it's better than a war golem, right? So there's that guy's got that going for it. I think I need to play this. I'm a little bit at risk of Hellfire here, but this survives Hellfire. and I think steady shotting would have been a bit slow there. Kind of cool. I got a 
different classes beast card. This expansion did add a little bit of beast synergy for druids, which is interesting. Didn't used to be around before. But now I can take advantage of it. We got an egg. Oh, jeez. Which, of course, buffs this up. All right. Well, that happened. Pilot of Shredder. So I just, do I just play this or do I go for the Shredder? Uh, let's think. I can kill that. I can kill that. I think I just want a 9-7, honestly. I have and I also have a 4-3 still. So it's like pretty good. Nice intro. There's a good animation there. So, yeah, being shuffled into the deck, I mean, that's basically the same thing as dying. It's possible I'll redraw it, of course, but this game does not look like the type of game that's going to go to fatigue by any stretch of the imagination. Gonna ping it and play a Leopard Dome. So, this guy's got a very low curve deck, which is fine for me because I don't really care. All right, let's see here. I think we want to kill this. So that we can do this and this and have a pretty decent chance of killing something good. 50-50 chance. Got the blood imp. Okay, great. Let's steady shot. Kill the Lepernome. I think um, I'm so in the lead here. I'm willing to sacrifice 9 damage to kill that off and preserve my other minions. The gates are open. Lord of the Arena. Not bad. Unfortunately for the opponent, this is a beast, because it came from Web Spinner, so it has to be a beast. Which means that Kill Command will just kill Lord of the Arena. One of the many reasons why Lord of the Arena, in my opinion, is a bad card. So I have to decide if I want to deal with this egg, I could throw the Druid at it, or the Dark Iron Dwarf at it, and the Pilot of Shredder at it. But I think I'm going to leave it alone, because he's almost dead. Oh, I could have. No, I couldn't have killed him. He had a taunt. He had a taunt. I could not have killed him. So I did not miss lethal there. But uh, anyway, now he just needs to. Okay, great. We got time for another game. Hey, we have three wins. All right, this deck can't be terrible to make it to three wins, right? It might be terrible. I don't know. I am going to have a Ginger Delight Blood Orange flavor minty type of thing. My girlfriend got these for me for Christmas. We still have some nice holiday treats lying around. Ah, these are delicious. Mm. Okay, who's our next door? The opponent. You know, I probably shouldn't have eaten this thing because it's one of those like little things you suck on. So maybe I'm going to sound weird. I don't know. Arcrist, the shaman. Hmm. Hunter's Mark with the ghoul is a combo of sorts, but... Uh, early on, you really just never want to use Hunter's Mark, unless you're desperate. So I mulligan it away and get a bunch of crap in return. Great. Hmm. Kind of wish I'd kept Hunter's Mark. It synergizes with three of my four cards. I might not have had one of them if I had kept it in my hand, but... Well, we'll see if it costs me. I really think it was the right move to try to mulligan for more creatures to play. Especially because this thing isn't a great two-drop. Ah, uh, him again. Okay. Well, there are some positives to this run. We got to play with Malorn. That was cool. We did lay the smack down on a couple of people. That was cool. Hey, Hunter's Mark is back. Yay. But we don't need it right now. I'll play the ghoul. So, Hunter's Mark on the knife juggler would guarantee a kill. Now, if he lightning bolts or rock biters this thing, the knife juggler survives. But I'm okay with leaving it as is, because then it's just right for getting killed by a dog or by an explosive shot anyway, so I'm, I'm okay with taking that chance. Oh, he's just going to trade for it. Perfect. Okay. So Unstable Ghoul got to see some good use. He doesn't have anything better on turn 3 than a totem. Even better. Okay. That's a good, good thing. Here I am going to coin into the Stormwind Knight. I mean, yes, if I don't top deck something to play, I'm going to have nothing to do next turn. But I just gotta take that chance. I'm holding so many of my, my spells here. I've just gotta draw something, right? Right, deck? Come on, work with me here. If you don't work with me, I lose, and then you die. You cease to exist. Oh, jeez. All right, so he's gonna get that, and uh, yeah, I can't quite kill it conveniently. Oh, bomb lob, I would have been good here. So I got a couple of options. I can use Hunter's Mark, and then kill it. And then I basically went down a card. I lost Hunter's Mark and he drew a card off of it. 
I can let him draw another card with it. And then um, if I do that, I might kill it later without having to spend Hunter's Mark. For honor. Oh, jeez. What's the right call here? You know what? I'm going to Hunter's Mark this because... Oh, wait. The problem with Hunter's Marking it is that then I have nothing to do with my turn except for Steady Shot, which is lame. I could make a dog and kill it. Then I have a dog, so I didn't lose cards. I just lost the potential of Unleash the Hounds. Hmm. Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. I could kill Commanded, but I'm at least spending some of my mana. Gods. All right, I think this is actually the right move. I'm spending my mana this way. Kill Command is gone, but I keep Hunter's Mark for, for use with the Hounds, and then I have Deadly Shot and Explosive Shot, so lots of removal. He keeps on playing Totems. Okay. This really sort of nullifies Bomb Lobber, but it enhances Unleash the Hounds. And in fact, I don't even need Unleash the Hounds. I think I'm just going to Explosive Shot. Face. So he's been making a lot of totems. I bet there's a big six drop coming up soon, and this time I do have Deadly Shot, so bring it on. Bring it on like Diddy Kong, come on. Meh, meh, meh. Player Sunwalker. Oh man, another totem? Wow. That is all about the totems. Okay, I don't know what he's going on, if he's got like a handful of seven drops or something. Maybe. Oh, no. Maybe what's actually happening. Oh, this is this is what's happening. I know this is what's happening. Ah ha ha ha. He has a bunch of fire elementals and didn't want to play them. They wouldn't have done him any good. So he's probably like low balling his fire elemental. So now they're gonna get a fire elemental to kill this bomb lobber. Yeah, there it is. I think it's a mistake though. I think he should have just used his fire elementals and gotten a 6-5. I mean that's pretty good. So now we're going to deadly shot. And uh yeah, let's go ahead and play this guy. If he has any more big stuff, I can still kill it with Hunter's Mark and Hounds. He does have a lot of cards because he's been making tons of totems. His health is pretty good because I've been using um, all my stuff to kill his things. I got my kill command back. Hmm. What do we do here? Alright. Well. We just go for broke. He's got to be a little bit careful here because I might be able to burn him out with the kill command and the dogs. Pop goes the divine shield. Gets a totem. It's a taunt totem, which is very good for him. Gets that. Oh my god, is he going to play lightning storm? Fork lightning. Okay, please don't hit the panther. Ah, I hit the panther. Okay. <coughs> So here, I think we just gotta do the obvious. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play the dogs. Do I play kill command here? I don't think I do. I think I just play this and this. And then what we do is we hunters mark this thing. I'll use this to kill that. This to kill that. This to kill that. And then two dogs attack. I'm a bit vulnerable to Lightning Storm, but I really don't think he has it. I think he would have played it last turn if he did have it. So he doesn't have it. This stuff should all be okay. Oh my god, Pyromancer. Fuck my fucking life. Oh jeez, that's bad. So, um, interesting choice. I guess he has a different answer for this thing. Oh, right, because he can't hex it, because he can't target it. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha, yes, right. Okay. And I'm going to see what we get. Bear, huh? You know what? We gotta kill the Tyromancer. Hmm. Well, it's a close game. I might be able to burn him out. Six turns of steady shotting at full health might actually possibly happen. Doomhammer doesn't really work very well because he takes damage and his bear. You don't want to use Doomhammer on that. Does he actually have removal for this? Does he have lightning bolt or something? No, he just has a frost wolf warlord. Okay, perfect. We win! God, that was close. Bear, no command steady shot. Well played. Good game. Tight one. Very tight one. Alright, we're coming up on exactly 45 minutes, so it's a perfect time to stop. Thanks for watching this video.
If you enjoyed it, please like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with the rest of this misbegotten run. We might even make it to five wins. Woo! See you then.